what's going on guys today we are doing another tier list it's been a hot minute but we are back with x define taking over the channel at the minute as i'm sure you've seen we are going to be tier listing and ranking all of the guns currently in the game just before the end of season one by the time this video goes out season one's been out a couple of days but this is a season zero tier list of the guns because i don't know what might get buffed and nerfed so Let's get right into it. And here we are. Let's get right into it. So we have got five tiers for each of these to go in. Meta, powerful, usable, weak, and I haven't used it. So that is how we're going to go. So what we're going to do first is get the haven't used it out of the way. So we haven't used the AA-12. We haven't used the double barrel. I haven't even unlocked them yet. Hence why they've got camos on in the pictures. We've then got the M16 and, uh, and the M60 and the RPK, which I have not used. Then we've got the SVD, which I have not used. They are the five guns I have not even touched for a single second. I can't comment on them. Um, as far as I know, based on what I've seen on Twitter, people aren't a fan of the AA-12. Apparently grinding for camos on that has not been fun, but I don't know for sure. Right. Now let's just do them as they sit. M16. I think it's powerful. I don't think it's as good as like the AK or something like that that is more versatile due to it not being burst fire. A rapid fire weapon just gives you so many more options, I feel. While the M16 can just eviscerate you before you even realize what's going on, you do have to hit like multiple of the bursts as a headshot. And yeah, I think you're a bit limited with your build to ensure that it does that at all ranges um mdr is weak i've i've leveled it up enough now where it's starting to almost seep into usable but every other gun is usable without attachments this one you need attachments for it to be usable which is why i'm going to put it in weak m4 is usable um there are definitely some builds that people are rocking that i've not looked into too much where it feels powerful but at the minute i would say it's usable out of the ars it is definitely below the m16 and the others so i think usable is the right spot for it ak absolutely meta the gun shreds um anyone not using it i think is a fool but then on the flip side like you got the acr which is the other ar that i'm seeing everyone run i personally say the ak is more meta than the acr i feel like a lot of people get put off with the ak for one reason or another but once you get your build locked in for the AK, it is untouchable, um, even by the ACR. So I, I, ACR is definitely still meta because people are running it. And like, you can still beat people who are running an AK with it. It's not like the AK is like OP, well, a little bit, but like not like it's broken. Um, but I'd definitely put that there. The Vector. The Vector is a tricky one because the speed at which it kills would have me putting it in meta. The magazine size and the speed at which it dumps it would have me putting it in weak. I don't know. I think... I think it's got to go in... Usable. I'm going to go usable. All of the SMGs in this game are very even apart from one um but all of the smgs i would say are weaker than the ars in general so i think the vector's probably going to sit at usable I, th I think that 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 doesn't quite feel right but i think that's the best i've got p90 is definitely powerful it does a lot of what the vector does well but it's got that bigger magazine size which means you're not having to get a kill run away hard to get your reload off mp7 is meta and it's better than the acr the mp7 is nuts um there might be some videos coming out with the mp7 soon when i'm gonna show off my build for it but that gun is crazy and i love it it absolutely fries mp5 i'm gonna go top end of use oh but it's it is quite but you have to get it fully maxed out of attachments before it goes into powerful and based on what we did for the MDR, I'm going to just put it at the top of usable. It is solid. And once you can get barrel extender and chrome lined on it, it is really solid. But I think that's better. Um, shotgun. I haven't used this shotgun either. I've got it unlocked, but I haven't used it. Um, the 
which LMG is this? This is the M whatever, the M80. Um, this is powerful. And it's more powerful than the M16. I've only used it for two or three games with zero attachments and the thing's just ripping off heads. Once you get some attachments on this thing, like quick draw and stuff, game over. I'm even tempted to try out the fast mag on it. Um, and see if that losing them 40 bullets and bringing it down to 60 makes it worth it. But that gun is crazy. SVD, I've used it very, very briefly. I'm not a fan of single fire weapons in general. Um, where would I put this? They are definitely powerful to single fire weapons. I was just trying to call this like the MVD. It's not. It's like the MK20 SSR or something. Um, they are really powerful. I think it's got to go powerful. Uh, I think I'll put it above the P90. Because there's been a couple of times where I like, expect it to beat me at like really long ranges. There's been a couple of times where I've got up in someone's face with an SMG and they've just been able to just one tap me. So I think that's fair. Um, TAC 50 is meta. Am I seeing more of the TAC-50 than MP7? I think I am. No, I'm not. It's about even. Actually, you know what? I think TAC-50 is the most metal weapon. Um, I can use it. I can get kills with it. There's times I pick it up with a dead body and I pop three beasts with it. It's it's busted. It's, it's damaging the game. They've done some things to... Um, limit them slightly but it's still very very strong um and then the m4a1 i think it is no that's an assault rifle this one the other sniper the basic sniper it's just gonna go to the top of powerful um it's a lot less one hit a ball at ranges it struggles a bit more i think it's a lot easier to counter if someone's got that i'm not worried if someone's got attack 50 i feel like i'm dying every single time so Let's um, walk our way back through these real quick. We've got in the meta category, these are the guns in Season 0 that I feel like have been dominating, and if you're not using them, you're clearly just grinding camos. Um, TAC-50, AK-47, MP-7, and the ACR. These are your golden four. Depending on what you want to do, these are the four guns you should be using. Absolutely no question in my mind powerful these are guns that are fun for the leveling grind you don't find it too much of a chore um and only really the guns in the meta category cause you problems while you're grinding these out they are absolutely a lot of fun to use if they come out with mastery camos which is the plan these will be the guns that you're excited to go back and you get to use again if you're a sweat who just likes dropping high kill games um so they are they're a lot of fun usable these are the guns that didn't make you want to lose your mind while grinding. Um, they absolutely are better once they've got attachments on and they can compete with attachments. But then first few levels, when you have nothing, you really, really feel it. Um, but MP5, M4 and the Vector, once you get attachments on them, you can absolutely fry with them. Weak, MDR. The MDR, I've had games of it where I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it now. The build is getting there, but then it will just lose gunfights for no apparent reason. It is still fun to use when it's going well, but it is by far one of the weakest guns that you're using, especially when you look at how strong the rest of the ARs are. It just can't really compete. And then the guns I haven't used. I haven't used any of the shotguns. I haven't used the other two LMGs, and I haven't used the SVD. I don't know a lot about them. I can't really comment on them. I'm 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 pretty sure the SVD is pretty strong. I've seen some people running the RPK. I, I don't feel like I've seen many people running the M60. And then the shotguns. I've not seen many shotguns full stop. I feel like they've actually kept them pretty quiet in this one. But that is it. That is our list. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications so that you can find your way back for videos in the future. And thank you very much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.